Okay, Crossbow Appreciation Month continues. Now, I don't want you to lose sight of the fact that we are going to have the long form videos. I'm going to continue to do those. It's just that I want to do 31 videos during the course of August. So during the course of August's 31 days, I want to do 31 videos. The only way to do that is to do a lot of short ones, kind of like this. But it's a great idea, and I think you'll enjoy it. I think hopefully those of you who subscribe to Death by Bungie are familiar with our videos. All those other videos are still there. You can go check them out if you're new to crossbow hunting. If you are an old hand at crossbow hunting and you want certain questions or you want to watch those videos, they are all still here along with all the old hunts and everything else. These are going to be shorter form videos, a lot of them, not all of them where I'm answering specific questions that people have. So I think you'll get something out of it. I think it'll be pretty interesting stuff. One of the things that I wanted to address was, and I had talked about this a little bit in other videos, but I did receive a comment once a while back. It was kind of a snarky comment, and I commented on this in a previous video because the comment was in two parts. The second part of the comment it was the effect of brace height on arrow speed. And I addressed that in the other video, the video that addresses that. So go check that out. I'll put a link to it here. You can check it out. However, part of that comment also, in the beginning of that comment, that person was saying, hey, first of all, you got to understand that twist, twisting a string shortens it on both ends. It doesn't shorten on one end. And I totally get what he was saying there. And I think I did respond to that at one time way back in the day when that comment was left. It's true that if you have a recurve crossbow like I do, taking the string on and off isn't a real big deal. If you have a compound, this is still something you need to sort of think about, still something to take into account, because it can affect the way the serving lays. With most crossbows, that serving, you want it sort of centered, right, with a little bit hanging off to the right, a little bit hanging off to the left, and you want it kind of in the middle, because that way you have equal pull going down the rail from the left limb and the right limb. It's going to be the equal pull going down the rail. So you kind of always like to have the serving centered. That's just my thing. If I've got my serving where I want it, then that's fine. I can just twist the whole string. It should stay centered. But sometimes I want to move that serving a little bit to the right or a little bit to the left. To do that, what I was trying to point out, it's hard to put this in words, you just want to grip the serving a little bit, twist that end of the string a couple times, and it will pull the serving. It'll shorten the string from the serving to that end, and that will sort of move the serving a little bit over on the rail. And if you want to go to the left, to my left, for example, you would do the opposite of that. You'd hold it here and twist it, twist this side. If it doesn't matter and you don't care where that serving lies, then it doesn't make any difference. But that was the point I was trying to make. And I just want to make sure that's clear for any of those of you who are working on crossbows, twisting strings. Keep that in mind. You can move your serving to the left or right by shortening one end of the string. If you, but you got to hold the serving in order to shorten that end. Otherwise, it shortens the entire string. So, you know, if a rope is too short, it's going to be too short on both ends. It doesn't make any difference. You know, there's that old saying. So that's how we're working with that stuff. So hopefully you're enjoying the Crossbow Appreciation Month videos. I hope you are. If you have any questions or anything you want me to address during the next 31 days, please post a comment on here and let me know any little topics you might want to do. And we'll go from there. Until next time, all hail Bungie. Bungie. Ha, ha, ha.